everybody. It's Emily. I am bringing you a podcast version of Songs for the Struggling Artist, which is a total, total experiment. You're going to see if this like is weird or it works or it's fun or it's dumb or it takes too much time or it's stupid. I don't know. We'll see. But so this is um, uh, the first attempt. Uh, I'm going to chalk at you a little bit and then I will read to you um, a podcast. No. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> a blog entry. Here we go. Maybe. If you haven't had good luck, I'm sorry, girl. This blog entry is called Acceptance and Rejection. I feel sure I've used this title before, but I couldn't think of anything better. <laughs> anyway, here it goes. First, the customary news. I got a rejection notice from the MAP Fund. The MAP Fund is hilarious because they have an epic application process. The first stage is a letter of intent, also known as an LOI. In most grants, the letter of intent is just that. It's a letter you write to say you're interested in applying. The MAP Fund's LOI is like other grants' whole application process. There are so many questions, things to fill out. It is not even close to being as simple as a letter. If they accept your LOI, then you have even more application to do. Hooray! What those things are that you have to do in the next phase, I have no idea. I've never gotten that far. The MAP Fund is one of those grants that if I weren't engaged in this accounting of my rejections, sponsored by my patrons, thank you very much, patrons, I would definitely not bother to do it. But if I were to get it one year, it would be super fantastic, so I should probably keep at it. Rejections are the norm. Acceptances are the exception. If I were giving advice to someone about taking on this sort of crazy artist life, I feel like they should know that. That it's not a win some, you lose some situation. It's a mostly lose, and every so often, if you're lucky, you win one. It's not, a, it's not even like you get one out of three. You get one out of 35. For me, it's not you win some, you lose some. It's you lose some, 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 you win one. You lose some, 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 you lose some. You lose some, 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 you lose, you lose some, 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 you win one, you lose some, 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 and so on. But I am grateful for the ones I win. The one I got most recently was the Colleen Porter Artist Residency Award, which allowed me to go to Montreal for the International Performing Arts for Youth Conference. It was a great opportunity, a great experience, and also so gratifying to get a, a yes, and an enthusiastic yes at that. My spreadsheet of applications and rejections is a pretty solid block of no. The yes is so good. Look, look, look. Okay, folks, that was the maiden voyage of the Songs for the Struggling Artist podcast. Let me know what you thought. Should we do more? What do you think? <laughs>